Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create stereo from mono sources in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a mono synth right here. Let's see what it sounds like now. Now my issue with it is it's very mono. We're hearing it just in the middle of our speakers, equally from the left speaker and the right speaker. Let's hear it in solo. And if we hear it without it, notice the kick, snare, hi-hat, and even the bass are all in the middle, all in the center also sounding mono. even though they still sound pretty good. But it sounds boring putting a melody in the middle as well. So I want to treat this synth to make it sound more stereo. And I'm going to show you multiple ways we could do this. But keep in mind, you can apply this to any source you want, whether it be acoustic or electric guitar, or even a mono piano. Anytime you want to create stereo from mono, or make the sound sound wider, these techniques should work. So let's take a look at a few. The first thing we'll try is adding a stereo reverb. Let's go to the effects on this track and let's search in our filter, verb. And I'm going to choose the Reverbate plugin, although you can use any reverb you prefer. Let's double click it and it looks like this. Bring up the dry, bring down the wet, and let's keep the room kind of medium, and the dampening at the default. Let's hear it. Now if we turn off the dry, we can hear that the reverb is stereo. It's coming from the left and right speaker a bit differently. So that's the stereoness we're adding to a mono synth. Let's blend it. Let's hear that in the track. It's just a bit wider. Now we could also do it with reverb, but make the reverb bigger and brighter. Let's change the size to about 95 and the dampening to about eight, so it'll be a bit brighter, but also longer. But again, the reverb is stereo, adding to our mono synth. So that's another way of widening our synth or making it sound more stereo. But we could also do this with delay. Let's turn off the reverb and let's add a delay plugin. I'm going to choose the rear delay, double click it. Let's put it before the reverb, set the dry on full and the wet a bit down. Let's set it to musical, but one eighth note. And let's pan it to the left. Let's add another tap or another delay and pan that to the right, but add about 30 milliseconds to it, which should make it sound stereo. Let's turn off the dry and just hear the wet. Notice how stereo that sounds. And let's blend it with the dry. In the track. Now we could add the stereo reverb on top. And that creates more of a stereo effect, at least with the effect part of the sound. 
But we could also adjust the direct sound. Let's turn these plugins off and let's add a ping pong pan plugin. And with this one, it's going to pan based on the frequency or the rate and the width or how wide it's going to pan. Let's hear it now. Notice it pans back and forth. We can make it wider. Or faster. Let's set it to about 2.5, not as wide. So it won't pan as far to the left and right speakers. Just a bit less. And we could put it before a delay and reverb and have them all play together. Before, it's very mono. And like this, it's more stereo. Let's try a different setting. Let's make the frequency faster at about 1.0 and the width a bit wider. And let's hear that. With the delay and reverb in the track. Notice the motion is more obvious with this setting, but we're still using a mono source to move around from left to right. If instead we want it to sound like two performances, we could do that with a delay. Let's turn these three off and let's add another delay plugin and choose the channel time delayer. Let's put it at the top. And what this plugin does is it delays the left or right side by the amount we choose. So if we just move the right side a bit, it'll sound like two performances. Let's try about 30 milliseconds. Notice it sounds like two performances, played at slightly different times. We could also try around 50. For a slightly different effect. Let's hear it in the track. And 30. Notice how much more stereo that sounds compared to this. And we could also put the delay and reverb back on. It just puts the performance on the sides instead of in the middle. But we should always check this with mono to make sure you're happy with the results, especially if the final product might be played in mono. Now we could also try using a phaser. Let's turn these off and let's add the four tap phaser right here. Let's put it at the top and let's hear it. Now it still sounds mono, but let's adjust the rate to be a bit slower. And to make it sound stereo, let's go to the pins or the plug-in pin connector, and let's turn off the effect for the left side. So we're gonna hear the phaser on the right with a direct sound on the left, like this. Notice how the effect is now stereo. What's here in the track? 
And let's hear it with delay and reverb. We can do the same thing with a pseudo stereo effect. Let's delete our phaser. Let's type in MDA and let's choose this plugin. We'll put it at the top. And what this is going to do is going to add either a comb filter or the Haas effect, depending if this is positive or negative. Here's a comb filter. And here's the Haas effect. Let's bring up the delay and set this to taste. And what this is doing is it's choosing frequencies and painting some of them to the left and some of them to the right, creating a pseudo stereo effect. It's not super wide, but it's not mono either. Let's hear it with the delay and reverb. What we could also do is pan the direct sound just a bit to the left and just add our reverb to the right. Let's delete this one and this one and this one. Let's turn these off and let's add a pan plugin right here, the volume pan smoother. Although if you want, you can just pan the channel. We'll move it to the left a bit. And then we'll add a reverb that's just on the right side, creating a stereo effect between the reverb and the direct sound. Let's duplicate this one, copy and paste it, put this one below, turn it on. We'll go to the plugin pin connector and turn it off on the left side. So we're just hearing the reverb on the right side. So now we could blend it with the direct mostly on the left and the reverb just on the right. This will sound better with this a bit smaller. Notice how the effect is just on the right side with the direct mostly on the left side. In the track. It's a pretty cool and interesting effect. We can do the same thing with a delay. Let's duplicate this one, copy and paste, put it down on the bottom, turn it on, go to the plug and pin connector, turn off the left side, and now we're just hearing delay on the right. We can still add reverb to this. Let's put this on the bottom, and that reverb is going to be stereo as well. But we can still blend in the other reverb as it's shorter than this one. We'll just use the other rear delay on top of that one. Again, before and after. It's just a bunch of techniques to make a mono source sound more stereo. And like I said, 
You could use this with any source you want. It could be a synth bass, a guitar, an acoustic guitar, or even a piano or strings. Any mono source you need to be wider could benefit from these techniques. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create stereo for mono sources in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.